Hello and welcome back to Conference One. I am Jacob Brothers and joining me is our expert, our galactic Valorant brain, Dane. Dane, what's been going on? Nothing much been going on here, but what's been going on in CF1 is we are halfway through Split 2. Split 2, only five weeks this time, six teams play against each other, which means every round counts immeasurably more than it did in the previously in the previous split. Well, and speaking fun. of games, yeah, it makes makes every game count a lot. And speaking of games that count a lot, SJSU versus WGA was this week. Now, SJSU and WGA were both like the kings of, of their region. Um, both of them, the SJSU only dropped one game to a forfeit. WGA only dropped one game to Cal Paul, I believe. Uh, they both started this split zero and one. Not good. WGA lost the game to Cal Paul. Uh, SJSU lost a really close game with uh, UC Irvine. And they can't really afford to lose anymore, which is unfortunate because they're playing each other. In this round, SJSU got the best of them. They took them to Icebox. So uh, if you remember last week, I brought up SJSU losing on Icebox. Maybe big teams need to learn that map. Looks like they're taking my advice, uh, which is good. Yeah, I mean, if a team knows how to play a map really well that other teams don't like, that's going to give them a very real advantage compared to Haven or a map that everyone likes to play. Yep. And Icebox is slowly but surely becoming a map that isn't a map people don't like. It's slowly rotating in the Ooh. meta with these Viper changes. I'm seeing a lot of teams pick Viper and go to Icebox. Experimenting, it's it's to like mid-success right now. Um, but as the teams become more comfortable with Viper, more comfortable in this current meta, I think we'll begin to see that develop a lot more. Is Viper a common pick in current matches, or has she been kind of on the lower She is range? now. She wasn't, and then the patch came, and all oh, of her poison okay. got seriously buffed. Her decay now does 50 damage the second you touch it, which is oh. insane. Mm -hmm. um, she can basically lock down a whole point by herself, almost, um, reminiscent of, like, Killjoy. Um, she's filling that role as both a duelist and a, a controller. And she's still new, and... We have college teams and it's finals right now. Everybody's busy. They don't have a lot of time to learn the new meta right away. Like maybe a pro who dedicates all their time to playing Valorant would be. Um, but we're seeing her pop up a little bit here and there. Uh, teams start to experiment. And according to the post-game interview with um, SJSU player, that's what they were doing against UC Irvine. That's what they attribute their loss to. Because I remember bringing <laughs> it up. It was a big deal. We were like, oh my God, I can't believe SJSU lost already to UC Irvine. They said, oh, we were, we were testing some stuff out. Which... Is Split 2 the time to be doing that? Right, well, when all these games matter, well, kind of a question about that is, so WGA, they were a big team, and now they're 0-2. Mm -hmm. Are they dead in the water now? Or are they able to still make playoffs? Like, how how serious are these matches? They can't lose another match. Like, okay. it's it's go time now. They, they No more messing around. No more experimentation. They have to win from here on out. Credit them, I think they can. Um, but UC Irvine's on a bit of a tear, so that'll be, that'll be a big one. That'll be a big one to watch. What's happening and, in the next division? Uh, let's see, what do we got going on in the East? Rutgers. Rutgers lost their best player. He was the commentator for the streamed SJSU WJ match, which by the way, props to him. He did a great job. A lot of great insight from a good player. I highly recommend listening to him. Um, but he's no longer playing for Rutgers, which arguably their best player. Uh, he said he wanted to move on to other projects. I, had a, I uh, well, Oh, okay. so he didn't yeah. care about some championship. He was like, <laughs> we were good I and I, I'm gonna go talk now. I guess, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe he had bigger dreams. Maybe he's trying to go pro. Maybe he's, maybe he's on his caster grind now. I don't know. I couldn't find anything on Twitter, and that's like my main source of news. So uh, your guess is as good as mine. But they're still continuing to dominate even without him. They haven't dropped a match. Um, meanwhile, in, the, in that league, you have great teams from last league, like PSU is starting to struggle. Um, Virginia Tech still uh, doing middling. They, they lost to Rutgers, I believe. So like fair game that they still have a good chance but um i think psu is 0 and 3 now as is um uh, liberty maybe i think uh, so like not that that's probably dead in the water unfortunately so, would you predict that this is still a rutgers division yeah, even oh, after yeah. losing their best player that's what it looks like who knows once um once we go on to the Regional qualifiers, which is after this, the top four teams from each of these divisions will go play in a regional qualifiers. So like East Group 1 and East Group 2, the top four teams will play each other in a bracket. I think that'll be the true test uh, yeah. for Wrecker. But as of right now, it's still Wrecker's League. And then how East, about East Region 2? Miami's League. Uh, I was really excited <laughs> for the rematch between Miami and Ryerson. It, it didn't happen, unfortunately. I don't know what the circumstances were around there, but Miami won via forfeit. Um, I have to give a shout out to Miami. I have to give them some credit. Last week, I said 
they had a really close set with MIT Cyber Bears, which was weird. I thought I thought they could, they should have crushed them. I didn't watch the match because I myself am busy with finals. Um, turns out it was four v five. So, oh, yeah, they they were down a player. They decided screw it, we'll try it anyway. And oh, so they, they won. won the four v five. Yeah, they won the four v five. That's so really my... bad. That's a really bad look. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, for Cyber Bears, but a good look for Miami, right? Yeah. They're, they're good. And um, they play UW next week. UW is the uh, king of Canada, the other top team in that league. And that will be streamed. I checked the schedule. That will be streamed on Conference One's official stream. So check that out. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Um, Central Group One, moving on here. Tama League. Uh, not, not much to say about that. So all, all of these leagues have a team that's probably going to move on. Yeah, yeah. At least at least one central group two is lucky enough to have two with UH Ooh. and OSU. They go back and forth all the time, even in like other leagues whenever they play each other. I I think they play each other week four. So two weeks from now, that'll be a match to watch for sure. For sure. So, uh, so do you think that the Viper meta, because I've, I've seen you said you talk about how a bunch of teams here have been using that Viper meta on Icebox. Is that like the next because I've noticed because when I watch Collegiate Overwatch, a lot of it is there, there's a meta that they all try to follow. So is this going to be the next major shift of if we want to get a dub, we take them to Icebox and we pull up these crazy Viper plays? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Like I said, mid success so far. Everybody's still learning and no one knows like the right angles or, or all the right places to peek or anything like that yet. Um, finals are going to happen these next couple weeks. They end right about the time that the regional bracket will start. So I think that's when we will see those, these strats really start to go into full bloom. We'll start the, the MC crack down and, and get them precise down to a science. Well, it looks like all these teams are going to be able to ramp up exactly when they need to. So Dane, thank you once again for another phenomenal report. Phenomenal league. Kind of competitive. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> I can't... It, competitive only up from here. Only up from here. Only up from here. Well, thank you very much for another uh, report. And this has been Conference One, and we will see you next week.